All right, so today we're going to be talking about the finger gutter orthotic. Uh, we're going to make this splint on 1 16th inch aquaplast, um, but like pretty much any splint, there are different options to make it with uh, you know, various thermoplastic materials. But um, for our purposes, we're going to use 16th inch aquaplast. So we use this splint to treat mild PIP flexion contractures. For more severe contractures, we generally use more of an LMD splint or more of a dynamic um, extension splint. We also use this splint for PIP dislocations. Um, we, they have to be pretty stable dislocations in order for us to use them. So the purpose of this orthotic really depends on the diagnosis or the limitation that we're trying to correct. So we can use it to provide protection for the affected joints if there's been a sprain or a strain of either the PIP or the DIP joints. We also use it to improve range of motion of mainly the PIP joint and to prevent deformity. So with this splint, you're mainly using it for conditions related to the PIP joint. In practice um, because the PIP joint is very susceptible to contractures, stiffness, as well as being associated with decreased function when there is any kind of limitation. But it can also be used for conditions of the DIP joint. Proximal portion of the splint, um, you want to kind of curve up. And you want to bring it out. And you want to be kind of pretty generous with the amount of, um, of space on either side of the splint. So this is going to be the gutter portion. And it go goes up, and by the time you get to the top up here, um, it's just right next to the finger. Is we're just going to draw a line going straight down and we're just going to cut it. So just right down um, the lateral aspect of the, of the splint on either side. Alright, take it off.